All right, so this is about an individual from, yeah, you can say from this village, at least. His sister is our neighbor, that's Slauka Yerma next door, who eventually insisted, demanded from me to place him on the internet during MKUltra due to what he anticipated would be um well he did replicate it incident from MK Ultra. Now this guy was in a nearby forest, uh oftentimes present and would act uh, at times extremely violent. Uh and then he would turn around and claim that is my friend and I don't know what and that's gonna help to for this case to be solved and so on. You know, there is no need for that. The thing is that what he wanted from me, literally teaching me in front of the computer, is exactly what you see here, is basically to find him within the audio recording. He knew I'm gonna be audio recording this stuff and brainwash me if I'm going to even find him when he's going to be given uh, a sharp command uh, to his dog. He's got a new dog and uh, he would always go for a walk. I never walked through this forest because of the what was done to me. I sticked inside of the house and I worked on the computer doing my best, I didn't even take time to go for a walk, anything. I took from me as much as I possibly could to end this as fast as possible. And, wow. Um, he replicated yesterday incident from MKUltra, which also involved his relative, uh, maybe a relative was his um, a wife of the man that you see here who intercepted me. Uh, the two intimidated that I don't have the right to walk through the forest. Uh, I know that, well, at least what I was told is that he is his neighbor also, that he is from the area also, and yeah, he did have a license tag from Kershko and stuff like this. Uh, either he is his relative uh, or he is um, or his wife is his relative. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the word is about this individual here who is not going to get uh, despite everything he anticipated he would get, uh, he's not getting what he wanted to get from me. He's getting exactly, exactly the opposite. Uh, he wanted me to talk about the dog. Uh, he wanted me to talk about the torture in which he was involved in the forest and in the area. I already have spoken about him in respect to psychiatry, but this was the whole village that was obsessed with idea, with the psychiatry. Uh, it's not what he's gonna get today. You know, his name is Zvone. Yeah. And now if I click this button here, you know, and the post like this is just like that, nicely is published like this. Oh, it kind of breaks my heart that I would end up losing information. Uh, so I can't afford that kind of stuff. So let's do it like this. 
And the, the thing about it is, you say, oh, geez, I was again disconnected. Oh, oh, oh no. Way. See, that's why it's good when you make a copy paste. You see, I don't have a time to play with this stuff, to pay attention to it. Uh, it's this shit that went on a little earlier already. You know, look how difficult they're making my things here. Oh boy. This is the signal. I see that I do have a signal. The connection is not protected. Uh, a little earlier I said to myself, they destroyed me new computers, they destroyed me new com equipment, they did not deliver what I paid for, and then you get equipment that you are not familiarized with, and the only thing that happens is you start wild guessing basically, you start talking about the stuff that you probably even shouldn't be talking about, uh, because number one, you are brainwashed, Oh yeah, we do it like this. On what you should say and what you should not say and this and that. And you know the transaction when they make, when, when they destroy your computer and by the time you get another computer, uh, the one they plant you, including the windows and hard drive whatever it is that you purchase i have to demonstrate more stuff that was done to me uh, it's very short period of time when you purchase however you spend a lot of money you spend fortune and uh yeah you check this out so like what is doing here the internet connection i'm gonna keep this video <laughs> check this out check this out uh and the thing about it is that once you have the computer equipment, they push you in your hands. Uh, they are in complete control, my friends. They know exactly what they have done to it. And the only thing you do is you stress the stuff. They brainwash you with. And what probably in real world is easy to even dispute. And that takes a lot of time to switch the computer to fuck somebody it's a very short time but to have the person stress issues which are totally totally non relevant uh, totally irrelevant issues that takes a whole a whole a lot of more time and it's when the damage is done when you purchase computer it takes one day you can purchase one they can steal you one I should say destroy you vandalize you like they did to me or deliver you something else than what you pay for this is basically steal your computer too, as was my case. And they plant you something else, and they plant you the windows that during installation you go inside of the kitchen, you have somebody inside the room switching the key, or they do this when you install the windows, and they go ahead and they modify the windows remotely, whatever the case is. You spend a lot of time when compared to purchase hardware itself you spend a lot a lot of time you dedicate uh, dedicating it to a bullshit they even brainwash you with you see what they look at look what I'm dealing with look at this kind of journalism it is kind of work let's try to publish now this kind of stuff now oh, there you go damn it it was so hard thing to do Okay, now when we succeeded, I see that uh, telephone on the other hand doesn't have problems like it is, but okay, this is just a telephone, laptop should be easier to connect, but you know. Uh, let's go from beginning, but this is going to be the beginning of this video, because they make things really, really stupid. Uh, this here, this is the house of an individual, this here. The address, they don't tell. The, uh, the street maps here don't work. If you click this, you're going to find yourself here, somewhere. And the guy that you have seen me demonstrating you a little earlier with this car here who was intercepting me uh, at this location here. 
at this location right here. But this was the guy who is, if not he, it's his wife that is a relative. I was told by this individual I'm going to be talking about, this one here, that it's this guy that lives here in this area here, that is here. Well, it was on another account, uh, it was suggested to me that he lives here in Smolenia Gora, but he, that he really is from Kershko, so that he has two houses, one in Kershko and one here in uh, Smolenia was. Then I was suggested that he also moved into the area and so on and so forth. I'm going to get to that stuff because that's like totally non-essential stuff. What's essential is that this guy here that you see, this individual here, whose house you cannot see because he's protected by the police. Have intimidated me with an individual I demonstrated you as per my even having the right to walk through the forest. No, I don't like that part. He was very aggressive during MK Ultra. In fact, this guy who wanted me to talk about his dog, uh, a really beautiful, docile animal. I, I'm not complaining about the dog. I'm just pointing out uh, what this individual in particular had to do with my case. And I'm not happy about it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically pointing out, I'm stressing out the issues that should have had in fact concern psychiatry and police, and it did. When MK Ultra went on, when I was hijacked to United, uh, from United States of America in 95, beginning in 95, uh, this individual was extremely aggressive toward his wife, and he was not the only person. It was other guys in the village whose wives even went apart, they separated, and one of the ladies that really, really liked me, and I liked her very much, just happened so was his wife. I, I was drugged up, I didn't know what the fuck went on, but this guy is even older than myself, so she must be older than myself. Um, used the opportunity to maybe from his point of view start the case against me he wanted to get as personal with me as possible uh, it developed into a severe hostility in his home in his own home this is what i understood uh, with his wife not knowing even if she would wake up the next morning boy that's how violent this stuff turned out to be. Apparently that the man was jealous. Um, hmm. Shit. Um, they did have some mental problems in the family from what I know. But this stuff here, this is just... fucked up basically when you're drugged up and you have no control whatsoever over your life and you are literally introduced in a life evidently was a schizophrenic and violent uh, people from the city when they observed the violence degree of violence they just somehow couldn't agree with one uh, the lady wanted to separate from him, basically go her way. It was like this all the way to 99, maybe even 2000, I don't know. But it was nobody that would help her out because this man has a lot of police in his family. And the man who ran the crime inside of this village against me the, the one where I was like 
from the police point of view, and it was the most trusted, this is our house here that you see, was this man here. He built himself a house, but otherwise he's from that farm. He's got another farm. Uh, the whole village here, this is just related to one another. Uh, with the exception of the people here behind these houses that moved into the area. Uh, but it's all like a one big family over there also across the hill. You know, kind of a Billy Hilly stuff. Uh, and so this guy, whose name is Method Yerman, no longer even work here from the city of the Novomesto for this stuff. But he was transferred to Ljubljana. It's a police officer who went on to complete his university and for the Milan Kuchan got the job over there in Ljubljana. He used in this case his career totally, totally took off. Uh, as for his wife, a chance is no longer even existed. I mean, you take a belt in your hands and whip her ass or do whatever you want. Maybe not exactly shoot her, he probably would not get away with that, and I would say even probably would, really. Uh, the thing is that it was like a pencil, it was not like a human being, uh, but had no place, nobody in this world that would see her way. <laughs> Whatever went on in behind those doors, it was completely left on her shoulders to survive, basically. Just like that, yes? Uh, as much as he was acknowledged as uh, schizophrenic and stuff, uh, his family, which I think this, this, this guy here was the number one, because he had this position in Ljubljana, made sure that nobody would get anywhere near him. This here is another police officer, right next to our house, yes, <laughs> big time involved, also very violent individual. And his mother is a sister of, well, an individual whom somehow, some way, whose house, I should say, when I look at it, I couldn't even, you can't even catch one anywhere. Uh, like, you can't even catch one anywhere on a Google Maps because it's protected by the Slovenian government, so you would not have any fucking idea where this house is. Yeah, but, you know, sorry, it concerns me big time. Yeah, it concerns me because the individual wants... He was labeled as a paranoid a schizophrenic, extremely violent indeed. Uh, didn't know how he would apologize his insanity toward me, toward his wife. Uh, he wanted to look as good as possible in front of me. That's what he claimed. But he really didn't have a problem with me. He had a problem with a lot of people who have seen this. What he wanted to do is, he wanted to lose, see, be seen, and as educated, and as capable, and accepted as such by the society, that's what he claimed. This was all business, basically. So, he went ahead, and, as he, much as stupid he came out, as a violent thug, started to incite started to support against me at large a uh, psychiatry, which became really his main business, based on which he built and got jobs and business and everything, opportunities, whatever. Uh, even a free education, I was told, by the teacher where he would go in the school, this guy couldn't fucking pass, I don't know what. And because of the political involvement and stuff, he was not the only one. It was another neighbor here, Peterlin, your name. They would award these people with certificates, with diplomas, whatever the fuck it is, because nobody wanted to get these people on their ass. So 
So in other words, these people claim that they must have an education and stuff like this so they could look legitimate because I have some education, not much, but some education and so on and so forth. I'm really not proud of myself uh, as far as education. The fact of the matter is that the education was stolen from me. I didn't have opportunity for any fucking education. I have it, but I'm not proud about it. Uh, so I don't know what kind of comparison this would be. Uh, but this is an uncle. These are an uncles that made sure that people like this would get whatever they need to feel confident, uh, to feel strong about the crime they performed on their behalf so that wouldn't be any kind of problems so they would have absolutely any, everything they they need yeah? so that he would not be seen as a paranoid schizophrenic as it was proven he was the man joined a group of psychiatrists and everything else and became a staunch supporter of one in 97, 96, and 96, 97 and became one of the like head people that would participate in this movement and that would make hell out of my life. Now the thing is that this forest here that you see here uh, which he an individual here that you see have prohibited me to even use to walk through uh, this issue isn't about the forest this isn't is about a dog it's a big dog but this dog dog is a baby it's a really a baby uh, he did have a dog that was violent and I don't know he got rid of it he probably killed one I don't know then he got another one whatever the case was it was a different situation. Uh, and with this one, he's like really, really smooth. Every time he's nicer and nicer with the dogs, which is a great thing. But the thing about it is that because of his violent past, because of his involvement against me, I just want to make sure that he understands that this isn't no game. I understand that his cousins are a police officers and they are a big shots in Ljubljana and everything. I just to let you know, if you cross my way in any fucking way inside of the forest when I go, he politely moved out of my way, but if you do, I'm gonna get you police like in five fucking minutes on your end. I'm gonna come into your home, they will get done over with you. You caused a lot of problems to me. Don't cross my path. Don't play with it. The forest, as far as the forest, and I'll cross to your private property or land or anything like this. I walked on a public land. It's designated as public. I'm not saying that forest is not private. This is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I was using a public path, just like you see here. Yeah, this is not about the dog. He anticipated I'm going to be talking about the dog and such. Now, I'm not interested in talking about the dog. Dog doesn't bother me. I think dog is very, very normal dog. Yesterday, he pulled something that should trigger in me like anxiety in respect to the dog and such like this. He was using a dog to intimidate. I'm not intimidated by the dog. Not at all, but with the issues that I stress, you death threatened, you were violent, and since you started to play with the issues like whose force it is, I am advising you, do not cross my path. Do not, don't even try about doing any of it. I don't go to your land, I don't trespass, and this is a warning to you. You should not even, even get up to anywhere here with this individual here who by the way you have used to intimidate with that's all i'm saying 
I don't have a time so I would play with the audio recording which however is there and if I have to because I wandered back and forth sometime inside of the forest I am gonna find the, the recording that I did it was quite crazy actually because the dog was playful uh, he did not he did not want anything you know uh, and but it was his owner that pulled him on a side and you know give him like a like a command in a language that he used whenever he was giving himself like we say in Slovenian Dushka you know like he was giving himself the right to engage in yelling screaming death threats and stuff like this inside of that forest don't fucking do that with me. Don't try to cross my path when I walk in the forest. It's not going to be me. You're going to have a police and it's not going to be your cousins. It's not going to be your neighbors. They're going to assist you. You got your real police on your ass. It's going to be real fast. And it's going to be inside of your home. They're going to come to pick you up. You understand that? That's all. You understand English. You have other people. They're going to explain to you. You have a police officer. They watch this. Keep this in mind. That's all I got to say about this video. Today is July the 21st, 2023. And the only thing I am going to do is I'm going to play you this video here so that you can see this. And that's all there is because I ain't got no time for this. Got other stuff to do. I just turned around right there and now I see the car here. So. As a matter of fact. And I'm not sure if he paid him off to stop right there. That's funny. It's actually very funny. Um, I just said to myself, if it's okay for me to display his license number, the, the license number from his, uh, I don't know, uh, is his cousin or is uh, his wife that's his cousin, I don't know. Um, he's from Kershko, as I stated. Uh, is a Kershko, I don't know. He's got a license plate from Kershko. And I figure out it's okay. Do you know why also I figure out it's okay? Let me demonstrate to you. Up, oh, because he's on a public road. This individual stated me if he's going to be on a public road, is actually okay for me to take his license plate because left from the car in direction I which I continued is actually his land that's what he stated so I guess it's all good uh, he stated that stuff actually during MK Ultra so I believe him uh, to be honest I had no idea about all this here that you see I had no clue I had no idea that because I never looked this way you see I never looked I, I never looked this way that that actually never looked never never thought about you know because I never wanted to see people like in a doggy way like this but I figure out that, that this is very doggy this whole thing Never thought about that this land, this entire land here would belong uh, to this guy. So, no, land, a forest, yeah? So, apparently, because of MK Ultra, it appears also that the car that was parked here belongs, the land belongs to the guy that I chartered right here. Um, let's like this with a red color like that to the car that was parked here and the two are relatives with one another so you know what you got it. why not 
I actually found this recording. Uh, he did this in a such a way so that I would definitely hear him. Uh, he eventually, with the neighbor, Method Yerman, with this individual here that you see here. Oh, let me demonstrate to you this bird. Yeah. Yeah, this is very, very professional guy, a very, very professional police officer. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah, he was his teacher, did this in a such a location that I came from below. He was positioned like on a higher, uh, uh, like elevated. Now, let me see if I can actually, uh, you're going to see that in a little bit. And knew exactly where my telephone devices are and did make noise in a such a way that even the audio recorder would not catch the intensity of his command if you like you want to call this a command the dog command the dog likes me very much i played with the dog already the thing is i don't want to play anymore because of his owner i love dogs but the owner really is well exactly what i described in this video nothing more and nothing less so i refuse to make any kind of eye contact or anything and i go and i mind my own business basically but I did found this excerpt, I did found this audio clip, and it sounds like this. But this is very important for me to accent. It's, it's very important for me to accent that it was actually, that, that's what really is interesting. The neighbor, my neighbor was the one who demonstrated me how to even give a command in a such a way so that the audio recorders, the telephones would not catch his basically his growling. Alright? Uh, as for the location, it was promised to me where we would met meet. What they want to do is they you know they, they would prefer me to stay in, indoors, uh, locked inside here because it's very hot during the daytime, of course, you go in the, you walk through the forest, right? You're not going to go in the sun and get skin cancer, but you're going to stay walking inside of the forest, right? So they, they didn't want to do that. They wanted me to stay indoors all the time, basically, just like they did during MK Ultra. You know? But it somehow doesn't work for me anymore. So this was the guy who teached him on how to do it, the teacher. And examined where how that kind of stuff would be done so that's exactly what that was this is a Vichy Polizieski um, inspector whatever it is a police officer who was involved in this stuff that's what basically this is no so yeah because not because this will be a video about this. This is not the video about that. This is just a video, exactly as I explained, that I will use the forest. I will walk through the forest. And anybody that will interfere with me is going to have to do with the police. Plain and simple. That's all there is. That's advice. And I, I definitely rationalized why that's going to happen in this case. So, but this here, this is basically what that sound, yeah? If he was so excited that he wanted me to put him on the internet, why the hell not? <laughs> Apparently that he is uh, proud about his... Uh, Oh, but you can actually hear even reverberation. You can actually hear blah, blah, blah. Now, you know what? I'm going to get this uh, out and play the whole thing. So why not? 
that was very loud actually. Yeah, yeah, the guy who was parked with the car over there, that's actually his cousin. Um, actually, I wouldn't say cousin, but he's a relative. Uh, and he intimidated with individual. We just born a, a brother from a neighbor, uh, Slauka Yerman. Uh, on how I don't even have the right to walk through the forest and God forbid that I would continue to walk on a trail which is a public trail uh, because it's his forest he intimidated with his forest now I know that toward the hill from the road uh, in that direction right there up from the road that intersects that is going towards Molenia Gora it's actually his forest. Oh man, he had a lot of domestic problems with his wife because I just happened to like his wife when I was drugged up and his wife liked me and that was the like the problem, the man is coming. It was uh, problems, psychological problems that he had, and uh, all through they should involve police. They couldn't. His wife wanted to have a police involved because he was so domestically violent. The year was. 95, 96, 97, uh, because of a family members that are employed at a police station such as Metod Yerman, there was no police summoned. That was, at a time, his wife wanted to even move out, basically rescue her. It was a rampage, a lunacy, anger domestic violence that conquered that house all the way to 98 the lady would not even dare to even look at me anymore i mean this is bizarre the hell as it gets um this shit actually lasted all the way to 99 whatever the hell he did with her it was not nice i was in the united states of america at the time and really couldn't do anything about it and if i was here it's really questionable what anybody could do about because of this police officer, this neighbor of mine, Metod Yerman, who was involved in this crime. He had worked, he worked for Ljubljana and basically coordinated everything with the director of the police and other people, not only of the Novo Mesto, but from Ljubljana people and stuff like this. So there was nobody that could actually even help her out with domestic issues there was ladies that would go apart because of the lunacy that went on inside of this village she just happened to be one of them it's a really really beautiful woman and uh, instead became a, his hostage basically of his violence and he uh, even bragged to me about that he managed to domesticate her so I said that big dog, that the big dog that he has like a toy, it's like a baby, a beautiful dog he has. Um, but you know, this is just my five minutes about this individual who was involved in other issues and became just like other people from the village, addicted to psychiatry, to psychiatric hospital in Blana Polia. So he started to Whatever they need, he was totally started to rely on connections that will open him everything in life, basically. Job-wise, everything. I mean, 
addicted to psychiatry. Figure out that as long as I'm going to suffer psychiatric violence that's going to go against me, and that's exactly how long he's going to be doing well. It's totally. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to stop here because I think it's a good video anyways. The individual that was intercepting me over there on the on the road that's actually his relative relative from what i know and he was involved in it and he i think he has like a weekend on a on a up this small Niagara, whatever it is a little further up there uh he does come from kursko he would come from kursko region and eventually i'm not really sure about that one time, I think he even said that he moved to this region, I don't know. Or his wife from Kershko, or whatever it might be. Probably the wife is from Kershko, I don't know. But it's his relative, and they're too intimidated as might have the right to actually even walk around here. It wasn't only about, it wasn't about the forest, about his property, uh, which is with a public access like exactly like you see here uh, but it was about other issue his harassment today started over there behind in the forest way down not too far from what is Liebeck where the crossing is uh, in it he did exactly what he stated he would do it was as I was walking like this uphill, it was like uphill, this is not uphill, but let's suppose that this is uphill. And it was a big dog that appeared right in front of me. It was, couldn't see actually anybody that would be holding him or anything like this. And he was first trying to intimidate with that issue. But since I'm really, really not afraid of the dogs and I continue to walk up there, uh, just as nothing happened, uh, then I observed him next to the dog. It, it, that was a crazy picture. That was a different kind of picture. That I admit that he looked insane. Just as when he was during MK Ultra. And during MK Ultra, he was yelling, screaming. It was all kinds of stuff he had to do to pay his bills, basically. Uh, yeah, I think he does have psychological problems. He really, really needed psychiatric attention. There's nothing you can do to people like this because they claim police as a private domain, basically. It's like their property. Uh, and then once I would approach to the dog, uh, he would just, the dog was so playful, he was looking at me, you know, he was, you know, like, not exactly that he would yell, like, silent or something like that, but, like, the dog would be, like, I don't know, like, uh, they don't pose any danger for me, really not. I met this dog before, uh, and... You know, the whole thing made no fucking sense. Other than he tried to intimidate. Still further, further, further down. This intimidation started further, further down. So they think that when the intimidations like this, I'm going to keep indoors or they'll be walking around and doing their exercise and stuff like this. No, that's not exactly what's going to happen, but that's exactly what they were doing all along. But that's not exactly what's going to happen this time. 